Hey and welcome to Homeschoolology. Uh, today's video is going to be a pack with me video. I'm going to show you guys how we pack. Nice one. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how we pack for our family of six into one suitcase. Yes, you heard me. We use one suitcase for the entire family and we do that for a couple of reasons so uh, that's what this video is going to be about today if you're new here my name is Nikki I'm a homeschooling mom of four and we also love to travel and travel often so I um, am going to be sharing my travel tips and our travel adventures this summer here Um, have always packed into one suitcase just because it's easier to bring in one suitcase versus bring in six suitcases when you're staying somewhere especially when we're like driving across the country we're staying somewhere in one night at a time and it's not convenient to have to bring in a whole bunch of suitcases and then repack the car every single day have to stop running around mommy's filming okay can you walk quietly <laughs> no uh -huh. okay be quiet <laughs> for a long time we've always packed in one suitcase and that worked well um, and then we started adding more and more people to the suitcase and we found that we were you know it wasn't all fitting and then I was doing some research on how to um, most effectively pack when we were going to be flying on an airplane and I found these things called packing cubes um, and I have a couple different brands and I'll share with you those brands later when I show them to you and um, I'll link them down below the ones that we've used but there are tons of them that you can find on Amazon and other places and let me tell you these things are like in fact I loaned them to my mother-in-law recently and when she gave them back to me she said I don't know what kind of magic these are but they're amazing so they are really 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 helpful on um, a helping you fit more into the into a suitcase B helping you stay organized and things not being everywhere um, and C they uh, for our family they help everybody know what's what and it saves from mom having to be the one that's always going in the suitcase. They can go, they can find their color because we use a color system. They can find their color, they can find their bag, they can get what they need. They know to zip it back up and put it back in and there is not stuff strewn all over the place. Things aren't getting lost um, and they have been just a major, major lifesaver for us um, with traveling as often as we do. So I'm going to switch over to where I was actually packing and give you guys a little bit of a, a view of how I do things there and then I'll meet you back here at the end. So these are my tech for packing. I'm using these things I'm called, we call them packing cubes, I think that's their official name, but these are how I pack for a large family in a small amount of space. We use one suitcase pretty much everywhere we go. If it's three, sometimes I can fit four days worth. Sometimes my husband will pack for himself and be separate and it's just the five of us packing on in one bag. Um, but most of the time I can get, if it's three days or less, I can get an, an entire family of six into one large suitcase, not including our like shoes and sometimes I'll pack our bathroom stuff separate, but our clothes can all get in one suitcase by using this packing cube system. So I have um, tried to get a different color for each person in the family that kind of have that I'll show you guys in just a second like what we have um, but that was my goal originally was to have one color per family it hasn't quite worked out that way um, but that is why did this go away <laughs> Sorry, new camera, so I was trying to figure out why, why I went away. But um, so these are what I use to help me pack. Um, this brand right here, Shack Pack, I think, this one right here, um, this is my favorite brand. We, these were one of the very first ones I bought, and they are holding up so well. None of the mesh is ripped, it's, and we use, I mean, they get a lot of use. Um, this pack right here, or this 
brand right here is the more accessible brand. Can you, I hope you guys can see that. Um, Green Eco. Um, these ones I have the most of because I think they're like the cheapest, easiest ones to find. But we, this is the mesh does rip away from the zipper. Granted, this one is mine and it's probably the most like heavily shoved full of stuff. So this is probably partly my fault um, because I have plenty of them that are not ripped. But this, these are the only ones that we've had so far that have actually done this, this brand. Um, so it, it works fine. It's totally fine for, uh, I can still use it even with the hole in it. Um, as long as I'm not putting like small things in here in, in which for me, I usually use a big one for my clothes and then a small one for like my delicates and things like that. So it still works fine. We've had these for at least, I think my oldest daughter was two when I bought them and she's about to turn 12. So we've had them for almost 10 years and they are still going strong. We still use them on a regular basis. We travel to my mom's house probably about once a month um, so they get used at least once a month. So pretty regularly we're using these bad boys and they fit really, really well. So normally when we're just going on like our weekend trips or our every once in a while trips, everybody gets their own color and then they know what bag is theirs. They take their bag, they put it in a drawer in a hotel room where they can take it wherever they want to when they're at Mimi's house and it has all their stuff in it. Um, and they know that if they need to find something, it's going to be in their bag. Um, oftentimes when we go on these longer trips, when, when I know we're going to be doing something specifically every day, like if you watched my um, East Coast road trip video that I have up here, um, we kind of had like something we were doing every single day. Every single day we had a plan, we knew what we were going to be doing, and on when I have an itinerary like that, when I know exactly what we're going to be doing on every day and exactly what I want everybody to wear every day, I will actually, instead of using my color code system, I will just take one bag and make it that day so day one of our trip the day we go to the statue of liberty that's what's in this one bag then i'm pulling out one bag for the entire family that has everything they need in it um and that's how i will usually pack on these super long trips this trip um the re part of the reason why we do that is so that we only are having to take in um, one suitcase every time we go in to the hotel room so we'll just take in one suitcase that has a day or two or three of clothing and all our bathroom stuff and whatnot and we're only having to bring in one bag so we're not having to carry you know because we already have a lot of other things the kids have their backpacks with all their goodies in it and I have bags that have all kinds of stuff and oftentimes we have a snack bag and we have a shoe bag and and all kinds of different other bags that I don't need everybody pulling their own little rolly suitcase yeah that's fun for them and occasionally if we're going on a short trip i'll let them do that but a packing in one suitcase just helps us save so much car space we just don't have a lot of trunk space in our car and so that helps so 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 much by being able to just pack in one suitcase and it's limiting how many things we actually have to bring into the hotel room every single night so that's why i do that and now i've completely lost my train of thought i don't know what i was talking about oh okay so this trip um it, since it's a long trip, I normally pack daily, but looking at our schedule, there's a lot of days where it's kind of like up in the air or I don't really care what they're gonna wear or we're gonna be in the car for most of the day. And so what I've decided to do for this trip, because I can't fit the entire trip's worth of clothing into one suitcase, I'm going to pack several bags of the color code system. So my oldest daughter gets um, pink, my middle daughter gets purple, my youngest daughter gets red, that kind of color system. And they're just gonna have three bags. So the first bag is gonna go in the suitcase and then the other two bags are gonna go in the roof rack. So we're not having to access the roof rack every single night when we stop. We're only having to access it every three days to pull out a new bag, change it out with our old bag until we're ready to do laundry. So that's the system that I'm going to use and I'm going to kind of show you as I pack these bags what we're going to do. But um, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring you over here. This is the amount of bags that we have here. I do kind of have some for every family member. I don't know that I have enough for every phone number. I have my, so most packs, when you buy a pack, it comes with like a small one and then a couple of medium sized ones. Some of them will come with a shoe bag. So for putting shoes in 
and then some of them come with a laundry bag to keep all your laundry in. I'm going to show you later what I do for laundry. We don't really, my husband will sometimes use these, but we don't really use these. Um, but we have used the shoe bags in the past. So that's what a pack looks like. This one my mom gave me, so I only have two pieces from it. So I'm going to see how I can figure out how to make this work. But pretty much everyone has three medium-ish size bags that we can use. So except for my except for one so which i think i don't know how i'm gonna figure out the blue ones this those are my husband's and my son's and so i'm just gonna figure out what i'm gonna do for those so i you'll i'll keep you posted as i get going here okay so what i have here is my son's clothes and my daughter's and my youngest daughters and then my middle daughters and my oldest daughters and um, stuff all laid out we've already packed what we're going to bring we looked at the counter we know what kind of days what we're going to be doing um so i got everybody laid out and instead of trying to fit all of this stuff into one suitcase, I'm going to divide it up into three days. Um, so they'll each have three bags. So I have here my, so I brought up these, my post-it notes and pens and stuff because I was, I thought I was going to be doing the daily system and then I kind of, when I was laying everything out, I kind of changed my mind on that. So, but I do have my sticky notes here. Um, when I do bags, I will label them or I'll lay them out with sticky bags. So what I think I'm gonna do is um, use the sticky notes to kind of say bag one, bag two, bag three, and I'll show you what that guys what that looks like. Here we all laid out in the four bags. You see my oldest, middle, youngest daughter, and my son. This is all gonna be in bag one. As you can see, bag one is pile is bigger than all the other piles that's because the bag one is going to have nightgowns and um, bathing suits and sock or well nightgowns and bathing suits in addition to their regular clothes that they're going to have in those bags because we don't know when we're going to be swimming um, and obviously they need nightgowns um, and then and this is bag two this is when we're going to have a little bit of cold weather so they have a cold weather outfit and a regular outfit and then they have um, an, extra, an extra nightgown so they can have a new nightgown while we do wash and um, that is what is in that bag and then this bag over here is, has our hiking clothes because this is when we're going to be getting to where we're going to be doing some national parks and some hiking so this bag has the hiking outfits socks and so that's going to be the smallest bag as we wash we will just move you know keep out when we exchange the bags, we will keep out nightgowns or whatever and put them into their new bags. So these extra bags are gonna be a little light in the beginning, but they'll fill up as we wash. That is my tip. If you're going for a large, you know, if you're packing for a large family, um, don't, you're, there's no way we can take enough outfits to pack. We're going gonna be gone for 17 days. There's no way we can pack 17 days worth of clothes and have room in the car. So what we do is we pack for half the trip and then we make sure we find laundry somewhere along the way. This time we're staying in a condo that has laundry inside of it halfway through our trip so that I can do laundry inside the room. I don't have to go to a, um, you know, like the laundry rooms at a hotel, but we always make sure, like we've done that plenty of times in the past, we always make sure that we have a laundry machine where we can la wash laundry at least once along our trip. But we, honestly, it's something we look for because you never know what's gonna happen. You don't know if there's gonna be a mess in the car or somebody's gonna fall down and get dirty um, or what, you never know what's gonna happen. So keep in mind when you travel with kids, go ahead and check a lot of hotel rooms, have laundry. So check when you're booking to see if they do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in bags and then I'll check back in with you guys in a second. And here it is, I went ahead and put the, um, this is my daughter, my youngest, my son, Middle daughter, oldest daughter, and as you can see, there's still plenty of room in this suitcase for my I, my suitcase. Will, my bag will go here, my husband's bag will go here, and then we'll have a couple bathroom bags on the top. This suitcase I got at um, TJ Maxx, but I love it. Um, so we have a couple of like uh, bathroom bags that will go here. This is where I store my like shampoo and conditioner and stuff, and then it has pockets on the front where we do our electronics and like. 
um, things like that. Oh, I put my vitamins in here. I used to put them in this bag and then they would melt in the sun um, because it, it's by the back window. So putting them in here helps give a little bit more of a leeway before they melt. So, so I love this bag. We've been using this one. It's um, Lucas is the name of the bag. But it's not the cutest design in the world, not necessarily what I would go for, but it was the right size and it had the right amount of pockets. And so I went for it and I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love this bag. But these, you can see what a difference that these packing cubes make. I would have never been able to pack six people in one suitcase without these things. They just keep everything so neat and organized and compact. And you can actually see, I have room in these bags still, and there still would have been plenty of room to pack more things in here. But we like this system of not having everything all at one time. So this is what we went with. This is day the first three days of our trip. When we get to that hotel on the um, fourth day, we'll get out the next bags out of the roof rack um, and we'll change out those bags with these bags and then uh, we'll get those bags out and that's about the time we have where we'll be doing laundry and we'll be able to put nightgowns and stuff into those bags down there, which you can see are pretty darn empty at this point because there's only a couple of outfits, but they'll fill up whenever we um, do our laundry. So that is what I'm going to show you for now. I'm gonna go ahead and pack myself and um, we're still a few days out from our trip so I'm not gonna pack any bathroom stuff yet but I will update you when I do pack that bathroom stuff. So get yourself some packing cubes. You really, really need them if you travel a lot. <laughs> so I'm sorry the video is going to end a little bit abruptly here. Um, we actually ended up having an emergency and had to leave a day early um, and actually head in the opposite direction of where we were going, um, but everything is okay. But I didn't get a chance to film the end of this video. Um, but basically that is how we pack when we are traveling as a family. Um, and we ended up actually not putting the extra bags on the roof rack. We actually ended up packing a second suitcase and that um, actually worked out even better than what the roof rack would have been. Um, we just brought in that second suitcase when we needed to change out the bags um, or do laundry or do anything like that and it worked out perfectly. So um, it ended up working really well. We love these packing cubes. Again, I'm linking those down below. Um, definitely pick them up. They are a game changer when it comes to packing and it just really is like makes life so much easier. It is such a time saver, such a mess saver, um, and keeping organized when you have a large family in a hotel room is is vital. So I hope you guys found those tips helpful. Let me know, have you used packing cubes before or are you off to buy some now because they're magic? Uh, and while you're down there commenting, I hope you will subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys again real soon. Bye.